Athens, Colorado, home to the Colorado State Rams, settled at just over 5,000 feet, and we have a game that will live up to the altitude. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Miami, Ohio Red Hawks, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Colorado State Rams. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Rams will get us started with the opening kickoff. He's going to try his luck from the end zone. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he... Miami, Ohio, taking the touchback. Line gets set, first down. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And those are the plays you dream about. You blitz, you bring the absolute lumber. Those big hits, man, those can set the tone. And that makes a decision for this offensive player. Do I really want to go near that guy again? They go to the ground. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. That's caught. It's McDonald. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. And the Red Hawks have it with a first and ten. On the ground, it's Brunson. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. To the air. It's Gabbert. Oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. 
He'll try to take it back. Touchdown, Colorado State. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. What a play by the defense coming out early in the game on the very first drive and setting the tone. Not just forcing a three and out, not just forcing a punt. How about creating a turnover and taking it to the house? Pick six. And the PAT makes it 7 nothing. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He's going to bring it out from deep. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we'll see what this Red Hawks offense can get done this time. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. On second down, looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. On target to the left. Still on his feet at the 45. He's off to the races. He's at the 10. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Miami. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. And the point after is good. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down for the offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. The sweet feet buy a little time. He'll pull it down and run. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. And I think this is important for this defense. This will be a big key in the football game. Like, I got to limit the damage from that guy. Because that, that's a QB that's dynamic, and, and he can make so many big plays. I got to string him out. I got to make him get to the sideline. But I will say this. I do want to hit him at the end of the runs. I don't want to let him out of bounds and let him get free carries. I want it to be physical. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Quarterback checking the play. To throw, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Goes to the option. Now the pitch. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. First down, 
physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. He's got his man. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. This is why quarterbacks get the biggest NIL deals, because they're supposed to make something out of nothing. You know what? If he took some of that NIL money, Reese, and, and spent it on more linemen, maybe he has more protection and more time to go through his progressions. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Pulls it in. It's more. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of it. Second and short now after that completion. Give to the single back. And the Rams pick up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Off the play fake. Fires toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Colorado State! And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate in the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great for going in because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Miami, Ohio offense returns to the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Looking to take a shot. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. The defense's head may still be spinning. They're just outside the red zone now. First and 10 from the 22. The run from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can break. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first. Fires deep toward the end zone. 
And it's caught! Touchdown, Red Hawks! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He gets a block. He's got an alley. a stadium quite like a return for a touchdown. It's always so exciting because you don't see them very often. You gotta go so many yards, 80, 90 yards at a time. What a great job by the returners, showing the speed, providing the electricity. There's a reason they're all jacked up and it's because of that awesome kickoff return. And the extra point is true and they're on top by seven. Sometimes you hope the return will give you good field position. Sometimes it puts a touchdown on the board like that 93 yarder just did. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Miami, Ohio has it back. The Red Hawks offense heads to the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. It's caught at the 45 on its way. Hit the afterburners, kid. Touchdown, Miami. Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. Boy, these offenses are just making it look easy. Defense optional in college football nowadays. So many weapons, so much speed on the field, so hard to defend. Defense, I, I don't know how you play it. I really don't. Just try to get a stop, beg for one, please. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. They wasted no time on that drive. Got it on their 25, and two plays later, they're in the end zone. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. That ball skips through the end zone. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 25-yard line. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and i got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like i got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, i got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. Quick strike complete. Really nice job there by both guys, the throw and the catch, to work that defense and get the first down. He's going to pass. Fires to the big fella. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. And here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's Fowler Nicolosi. Rifles it down the middle. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. 
And the offense clearly saying, we want to take those deep shots. We want to be aggressive. And I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do. And just missed a little bit, but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep balls. Coming after it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. The Rams will punt this one away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Well, what that punt lacked in height, it made up for by being short. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Trying to find his man on first down. The pass is incomplete, and one second is left. Well, on offense, no doubt, right? You've had success. You're throwing some tutties. Why not keep throwing it? They're going to keep being aggressive. You're going to have to do a better job, though, keeping this quarterback standing up. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. will boot it away to start the second half. And he's going to run it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Yeah, and listen, that dude is a dude. I get it. I mean, he's an absolute stud, and I want to find ways to get him the football, but maybe not force feed him in that situation when he's got two guys on him. Looking to throw, it's Fowler Nicolosi. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. You sort of get the feeling here in the second half with the game tied. It very easily could come down to which of these two quarterbacks has the football last. Bit of a blown opportunity there on third down with that incompletion. This guy's going to have to lock in for the remainder of the game. Running it back, it's McDonald. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. Guys, we'll see what this Red Hawks offense can get done this time. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Touch pass on the run. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, 
because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. I gotta do something that they are not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working, so this defense will have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. Well, that is one the tight end is going to want to have back. He was wide open on that play. That's one he's got to make. He's got to be able to make that catch. They keep attacking through the air. He's got it on the move. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Well, Coach said to never go broke taking a pride. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Wants to throw on third down. He caught it! And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And the defense brought the blitz on third down, trying to see if they could rattle the quarterback. But how about the poise? He knew where his answer was. He didn't panic or freak out. He just went through his progressions, picked up the first, and we got a fresh set of downs. Not down for the tackle. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with high discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver, and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page, playing together. I love it. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, and they can take the three points on the lead. And here comes the field goal unit. And this will be a short one from about 21 yards out. And it's right down the boulevard. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Let's see. in a bad spot and you got to get a drive together here he smashes his way through again and he picks up a first down that is not a flag on the play it's just lingerie on the deck after that move we well, saw that broken tackle david this defense has to do a real good job with gang tackling to stop this guy today you cannot assume one guy's going to get him to the ground everybody's got to swarm to the football all eyes on him and play physical might as well give it to him again. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Get set, get set. The give to the tailback. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. He'll pull it on the read. 
Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. All right, if you're a quarterback in that situation, you know there's nowhere to go, so just cut your losses. You're right. Absolutely. Slide. Don't take the extra punishment. You just give up on the play. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He rifles one deep down the right side. And he intercepts it. Looking for more room. The 30. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Red Hawks. How about that D coming up with a play like that? They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is blocked. Now he can return this. The 50, the 40, the 30, the 20. He's at the 10. All right, offense, it's your turn. We got to get something together here. You got to get two scores, so they got to work fast. Defense, we just did our job. We just got you the ball back. I know there's still a long way to go, but got to make something happen really quickly. Bringing it out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. He wastes no time and comes out throwing, trying to get to it. It's complete! A huge pickup! And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Dropping back, it's Fowler Nicolosi. And the ball's out and they're after it. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Great job by the defense ending this ball game. Don't give them any life. Great job forcing the fumble. You already got the lead. You take the ball back with a little bit of time. Nail meet Coffin. Got it. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. An excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They'll give it to him again. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Ordinarily on second and 10, you might look past, but here you just want to keep that clock moving. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here, just don't take a negative play. From the gun, wants to pass. Unleashes one deep. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. You know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Here comes the two-point try. They'll go to the air. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two as they extend the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. The deficit is large. Hope is fainting, but they'll try to finish strong. They made a lot of mistakes in this game, and that's why it looks like they're going to take the L. Lots of things to improve on, lots of things to coach upon, and a 
this point, I think if you're a head coach, David, you're just trying to see which of your guys aren't quitting late. Yeah, which is a real thing, by the way. Uh, who's going to compete to the final whistle? Who, what do we talk about all the time? Coaches fires into traffic, intercepted. Got some room to run at the 20. Touchdown, Red Hawks. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I show you, I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. Colorado State, 21. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. That might be overdoing it, keeping it away from the return man as the kickoff goes out of bounds. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Throws for the tight end. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. Got it in the middle, it's Warren. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Looking to go up top on first down. A shot toward the end zone. And that is interception number three on the day. Heat up them pass rushers, bring in them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game, in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. But, you know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today. they got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. A third and long coming up here. Back to throw, it's Gabbard. Unloads it downfield. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. And the offense comes up short on third down, but I'll tell you what, they still had a good day. There, there's so many positives to point to. I'll be interested to see if they go for it here on fourth down. They don't have to. They got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, shown a variety of all kinds of things. Now it's just about how they want to finish. The incomplete pass makes this series end in frustration as they turn it over on down. Well, some might think this head coach has a tough locker room speech after this one. I would suggest that he starts with, that's just bad. Bad. Or, as Reese Davis would say, ungood. Just very ungood performance. Flush this one down the toilet. Move on. It's not your best day. You lost in ugly fashion, to be honest. But better days ahead. And I think a lot of this has to come on the shoulders of the players. They need to be able to realize they just didn't do enough. So they've got to turn the page. They've got to go back to work, have a great week of practice, and put out a better effort this week. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.